This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Beyonce headlined Coachella, and during her performance, she even said, thank you for allowing me to be the first black woman to headline Coachella. Mm. Also, Destiny's Child is the first girl group to perform at Coachella, because she did bring them out as well. Mm -hmm. She set the highest live streaming record. She was the most tweeted about performance, and she had the longest Coachella performance. So congratulations to Beyonce for breaking the internet if you haven't seen it. We have a snippet for you, but it doesn't really do much justice. You have to watch it, but check it out. Hey, man, it just makes you want to demand more from yourself and your whole team. Mm -hmm. Everybody in sync, not one damn flaw occurring, executing effortlessly. Meanwhile, somebody on your team is going to get your breakfast order wrong this morning. Now, she basically had her own HBCU, the University of Beyonce, and she had on a sweater that said BK, Beyonce Knowles, which is school colors were yellow and black, which is also the theme from her album Lemonade. And she had the marching band, which were former members of Florida A&M University's band. She had a drum line. She had Solange come out and perform with her and dance and get me bodied and everything. Oh, came out. By the way... Jay-Z came out. They did Deja Vu. Mm -hmm. Jay-Z don't need to be coming out with Beyonce, man. (laughs) Drop on the clues bombs for Hov, but he slowed the offense down, Hov. He was good. (laughs) He slowed the offense down, man. It's like Melo when you, you know, you got Melo on your team and you pass Melo the ball and the offense just stops. No, he... Slowed the offense down a little bit, He could have been singing Lose My Breath. (laughs) (laughs) You did lose your breath a little bit, Hov. Slow but as Beyonce, down. what can you do? Who can really, I mean, besides Destiny Child and the marching band was incredible, by the way. Dope, yes, dope, and by dope. the way, if your marching band can't play past Detroit, we ready, then your marching band is trash. Well, any, any marching band from the HBCU can play they that. Better. They better. They, they, they take the B out. Take the B yeah, out if you can't the, play past Detroit Chance the rapper tweeted out, I saw it with my own two eyes. Beyonce is the greatest entertainer to ever live and the queen of music. Angie Martinez said Beyonce is the greatest performer of all time, and I do not wish to argue this point tonight. And uh, even Iggy Azalea, who was, by the way, people said Tiger was there with her. Well, we saw the pictures with his arm around her. I don't know if that means they're dating. But uh, she tweeted out, I don't think I'll ever see a better show than the one I just watched Beyonce perform tonight. I am shaking to my bones. I agree with all of those people. I mean, Mm -hmm. listen, and I I don't like to be a prisoner of the moment. So yesterday I I went into a deep wormhole of Michael Jackson performances. I watched the 93 Super Bowl performance, his 95 VMA performance, his Motown 25 appearance. And I think Beyonce is a better live performer than Michael Jackson. I wouldn't dispute that. Yeah, but definitely. I think a better live performer. I just think she's a better live performer. Mm-hmm. I ain't talking about nothing else but on that stage. And there's not too many people I would even want to go see. A, I'm not a huge concert person, but Beyonce, I always go see her in concert. Absolutely. I've seen about three times. Michael Jackson, I think, is a bigger superstar than Beyonce is. Of course. Is. But Beyonce about, is a better I'm performer. I'm just talking about Absolutely. the stage. I ain't talking mm-hmm. about nothing else but that stage. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's discuss Tristan Thompson, a fifth woman. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they have identified her name is Tanya, and according to the Daily Mail, they were first seen together leaving the Four Seasons downtown in November of 2017. And since then, he's been seen with her a few times. So according to sources, they're saying Tristan has been consistently cheating on Chloe. He's a serial cheater, and there will be more women to come out of the woodwork. Now, Kanye West, you gotta by the way. you got to have a starting five, though, just in Tristan's. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, Kanye bucks. West <laughs> tweeted out a picture of himself and Lamar Odom. And he captioned it. He said, my favorite moment of walking into Madison Square Garden to play St. Pablo, I used to go to the hospital and play Lamar the album when he was learning to walk and talk again. Then we walked into the arena together. So I don't know if that's a shot at Tristan, him reminiscing yesterday about Lamar Odom and him trying to, you know, take some shots at Tristan. Nah, because of the whole I don't think those are no shots at Tristan. I think that they situation would... with Chloe, but that family. Yeah, but you don't stop being friends with a person just because that person's not in the family no more. Right? I don't know. I don't know how one would interpret that because Kanye doesn't even really tweet that much. And he especially only has like 14 tweets. Especially if when Lamar was in a, co- a coma and Kanye's music did really help, you know, bring him bring him back. Right. Like so I don't know. Word is, though, that Chloe's not giving up on Tristan. So we'll see what happens. All right. And R. Kelly, a woman is saying that he gave her an S- STD. While he was in town for a concert just back in December, she's 19 years old when she started dating him. And she said she ended her relationship with him, but that the union had been fraught with several forms of criminal misconduct, including unlawful restraint, furnishing alcohol and illegal drugs to a minor and aggravated assault. That's because of the STD infection. Which STD did she, it know? We don't know. How is it a minor? She was 19. 
Well, drinking. You can't give nobody a drink oh, under, yeah, under 21. Okay. Got you. All right, now, according to uh, another, the other family, the Savages, who also came forward with accusations against Why are you calling them Savages? That's their last name. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn Savage. Uh, they said, we felt from the beginning that the reason he's holding the girls is he has some kind of STD that he couldn't cure. That's how they feel. So now this other woman is coming forward and accusing him of giving her an STD. She's not identified yet. So he's not, like, holding them hostage. It's like, uh, uh, allegedly, if I I got herpes. Look, we all got herpes together, so we might as well be together. That uh, you can't leave and still holding someone hostage. I don't know hostage. how. Yeah, how you put that together? Well, I'm saying not necessarily holding, but just saying like, look, we all got herpes. We in this together, so we might as well stick together. That's what he's. Let's just saying. isolate that. Okay, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your <laughs> rumor. No, I'm ready to sue. I need some. I need, to, I need some money for this. Number. You said it. <laughs> the Breakfast Club every weekday morning. Tune in.